Here we are once more at the Le Castellet circuit for another round of this year's Formula One World Championship. Renault took their first French Grand Prix win all the way back in the inaugural race in 1906, but it was another 73 years before they could take their second. So they'll be pushing hard to delight the local fans here today. We have 15 corners here at the circuit Paul Ricard, six to the left and nine to the right. The rain is coming down and making for a slippery racing surface, but luckily there is plenty of runoff available and hopefully we'll be able to avoid bringing out a safety car during today's Grand Prix. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? There are three main things to worry about there, Crofty. Positioning, awareness, and discipline. First, you have to put your car in a bit of space and make sure you have room to react to what the others are doing. Then you have to watch your mirrors and listen to the sounds around you to get a sense of where everyone is. And finally, just don't get too greedy. Just because a gap exists doesn't always mean you should go for it. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. It's Red Bull in pole position then, and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Gasly, Sebastian Vettel, and Ocon, Ricardo, Leclerc, Latifi, and Carlos Sainz, Perez, Stroll, Lando Norris, and Bottas, Grosjean, Magnussen, George Russell, and Kimi Raikkonen. Fiat and Antonio Giovinazzi starts from the back of the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. We're ready to go as we wait for the lights to five red lights for the French Grand Prix and it's lights out and away we go. We get a good start initially as we go towards turn one. Lewis Hamilton got a great start. We are behind Lewis Hamilton down into turn one. Lewis leads from us, then comes Max Verstappen. We, we swing around the outside of the exit of turn one, and we are back up into first place before turn two. As we go down to turn three, there's a three wide moment, now it's a two wide moment between the Alpha Tower and the racing point. This could get a very spicy battle indeed as they go side by side, as that is Nicholas Latifi trying to get past Sergio Perez as we lead. But here comes Lewis Hamilton as he goes to the inside, which switches to the outside for the next corner. He almost makes some contact, and Lewis is up in the lead of the French Grand Prix. It's very wet here in the French Grand Prix as we head down to the heartbreaking zone of the chicane. Max Verstappen is also trying to make a move on Lewis Hamilton. We swing around and we are up, back up in the lead, and, and Max Verstappen is back up in the second place. As we head in now, Max Verstappen is getting past us as he is up into the lead of the race. But we are side by side, headed down towards the fast right-hander. It's a long right-hander, but it's very quick. And we go side by side, Max Verstappen. And as we go side by side, but in the end, we are back up in the lead. And now it's a Red Bull, one, two. Lewis Hamilton got initially a great start, but then he lost the position to myself. And then Max Verstappen as Verstappen tries to go to the inside of us and tries to get back up in the lead, but it's no use because we lead at the end of the first lap. Well, we're not there just yet, but here comes Max Verstappen, really putting on the pressure now as he tries to go around the outside, and he does go around the outside, but we're side by side, we squeeze him out, and we lead the end of the first lap, but Lewis Hamilton is really putting on the pressure on Max Verstappen now as he swings to the, left, uh, to the right hand side of Max Verstappen. Down into turn one, this could get very interesting indeed in this rain-soaked Grand Prix, and Max Verstappen just stays ahead of Lewis Hamilton, but for how much more, because Hamilton's really putting on the pressure. Max Verstappen once again closing up, and he will have slipstream, and he pulls to the left-hand side. This should be very easy, but he will try to find it all the way around as we go into the braking zone, and we are just ahead of Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton is just behind Max Verstappen as well. So we preserve our lead, but a charging Max Verstappen should be very difficult to keep behind as we try to break the slipstream, try to break the tow, but uh, we just stay ahead. We ride on board with Max Verstappen as we go into the braking zone and we go a little bit wide and here comes Max Verstappen as Verstappen is now trying to go to the inside with switches to the outside for the next corner. And, and Max Verstappen goes to the inside for the long 
left-hander in the penultimate corner of the lap as we go into the final corner and we drift around the corner, but we just preserve our lead. But here comes Lewis Hamilton. Oh, we wiggle. We wiggle, and that closes up Max Verstappen. And he's going to try to get past us as he squeezes us out. And he goes around the outside, and he dances around the outside practically. And he is ahead in the French Grand Prix. He's in first place, and Lewis Hamilton is really trying to put on the pressure as we get past Max Verstappen. And Lewis is putting the pressure on Max. But Max goes around the outside and preserves his second place as we stay ahead of the French Grand Prix. But for how much longer could we look wiggle a ton as we're struggling to keep tire temperatures? On the corner now we go a little bit wide yet again and here comes max for stefan he saw us go a little bit wide and now he's trying to go around the outside which which is really it's at the next corner but we just stay ahead of max for stefan but we go a little bit wide and that closes up max very nicely indeed for him as he goes around the outside but we will take the outside from the next corner and we stay ahead of max but for how much longer because he's really starting to put the pressure on. I don't know what's going on with his car today, but he's very, very quick. I don't know if he can keep tire temperatures better than us, but we have to do something quickly. Here comes Valtteri Bottas on the Williams of Danny Kafia as he dances around the outside and he gets that move. And that was a very easy move for the Mercedes driver of Valtteri Bottas. But he is up on one place on Danny Kafia, but can Fiat um, fight back? No, he can't. Go around now. Uh, we're going to the end of the lap now as we're nearing the end of the race. But Max is going side by side with us as he tries to go around the outside, and we just have to squeeze him out. Um, and we just stay ahead, but he's going, uh, he's trying to find every little gap that we give him. But he is really putting on the pressure now as we go down the straight for the final time in this French Grand Prix. It's been a fun one, but here comes Max Verstappen. Can he get this win? Can he get the lead from us? Not on this occasion, but he goes around the outside. So maybe on this occasion, as he goes around the outside and we're side by side, will we be side by side again? Through the long, fast right-hander. Yes, we will. As we go to the inside, as we are side by side with Max Verstappen going through the right-hander. And that was a brilliant move from us to take the lead back from Max Verstappen. And this is the final lap as we go to the last couple of corners as we go through the left-hander, then it'll be a right-hander, then the penultimate corner. As we go through the penultimate corner, now Max Verstappen in second place. He threw everything at us. Can he get us into the final corner? No. Well, how about the exit? The answer is no. We cross the line to win the French Grand Prix, and it's a one. Two for Red Bull. A great performance from us at the French Grand Prix, and we should be very, very happy with us as it's a one-two led by us. We take three victories in a row. Victory for the team from Milton Keynes then after a quality performance. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? Well, keeping their tyre temperatures up in the tricky wet conditions was really important. There's not much grip out there at the best of times, and it's ten times worse if you're out there on cold tyres. So the way they kept the rubber in its proper operating window was a huge advantage today. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everyone at the team. We've been in perfect form in the past couple races. That's our third victory in a row. Max Verstappen is in P2, so it's a Red Bull. 1-2, he also got the fastest lap, so that's 19 points for him. In third place was Lewis Hamilton, then Pierre Gasly, Sebastian Vettel, Ocon, Ricardo, then comes Sainz, then Leclerc, Lance Stroll got a point, said uh, Nicholas Latifi. No, he did not get a point because he came in 11th. Lando Norris, then came Sergio Perez. 
It's time for our post-race interview after our win in France, a very wet, rain-soaked race. Yeah, it was uh, a great race. Uh, I had a race-long battle with Max, and it was really good fun out there. Um, he really pushed me very hard, and it was the first Red Bull 1-2 in, since my time at the team, so it felt really good to come home and score good points for the team. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to say it. It's, it's worth the shoey. Okay. Oh, it's nasty, but three wins in a row definitely deserves it.